Also, uh, for the record, this is also not free energy device related, but it does have to do with uh, the me and chat's conversation that we had yesterday about nudity on stream. So we will address this right now. I will be however I fucking want to be. <laughs> so this this is for the record, but you know, we need to have these for the we need to have these for the record conversations. Just so uh, you know, people understand where we're coming from when we say what we're about to say. Cause, you know, I'm sure I'm sure it will we'll get, you know, people <laughs> Either way, on every side of the opinion. Look, you can have, you can, give me this fucking mic. You can, you can have your opinion about how people appear, how they be, whatever it be. I like being in like swimwear, underwear, like, or nudity is fine with me, quite frankly. The human form is not something to be ashamed of. And it's not something that needs, in my opinion, to be censored. Okay? I'm going to speak on this because I am a sex worker. And, you know, I am building a fucking free energy device for the general populace. I am an ETI incarnated as a human. And I'm here to help this planet become interstellar. To the best of my ability. So... With that said, about nudity on Twitch. Well, I checked their nudity guidelines and, you know, adult content guidelines and what is considered, you know, uh, can erotic. Yeah, because I started here. So, we, uh, I pulled up s Twitch's sexual content policy as of December 15th. And I don't know if th this, to me, is the most updated one. So, because it's on Twitch's website. So... We're going to follow this guideline, which is essentially, you we just cannot be nude. No fictional art or, you know, in any medium, there is no nudity allowed here. I will respect Twitch's rules, even though I disagree, even though I think it's any kind of freaking artistic platform, whether it be live streaming, YouTube videos, books, I think nudity shouldn't be have this caveat on it. Okay? And I know we've talked about this before with the age of consent and everything. I'm not saying the age of consent is wrong. People should not be preying on children, any of these things. But I also have said this on stream before, and I'm going to be 100% honest because I am a sex worker and I'm here to help people, you know, stop... Uh, having difficulties with sexuality on this planet, I'm a person that consumes sexual material before I was 18. And I don't know a single person in my life that didn't consume sexual media un when we they were also below the age of 18 when I was below the age of 18. I don't think it's ever changed. If somebody wants to consume sexual content, they will find a way. Just like it, you can make drugs illegal, but people will find a way. You can make sexual content, you know, only legal for those above 18, you know, nudity, explicit content. But if you're younger than 18 and you want to see it, they will find a way. That's just how it is. So, I'm, I know this is a free energy device development live stream. We're focused on engineering solutions here. But part of my work on this planet is also talking about consciousness, talking about um, difficult conversations people don't want to talk about. So, I don't want to disrespect these guidelines. I also respect the fact that people can disagree with my opinion. That's just my opinion. And if, you know, they'd want to, their site to be not sexual, nudity, no nudity, okay, fine, no nudity, but... There's nothing stopping us from doing what every other Twitch <laughs> quote-unquote thought or any other Twitch streamer would do in the hot tub section, which is basically stream in, stream in like, underwear or, like, swimsuits or, I, you know, there's a lot of Twitch streams of girls just working out. We, we, we won't, this, was, this is part of what was in part one of Dev Stream 20 yesterday that I didn't upload was, like, we had an hour-long conversation about sexual content while I'm streaming. So, 
clearing that up for today for any viewers in the YouTube recording and in the live stream chat. I did want to look into it just so I'm not violating Twitch's guidelines. We have not violated Twitch's guidelines either yesterday or today, and we will not. <laughs> Until these update, if Twitch ever goes back and they allow sexual nudity, I see no reason why we won't stream that. But for the time being, if they don't want nudity, but everything else is okay, well, we will follow that. No nudity, but everything else is okay. So, you know, partial nudity. I'm, I'm sure this does not go for, you know, depictions in video games that we're streaming. It just, you know. This is the updated sexual content policy. So, um, yeah, I'll leave this up here. I'm going to start moving equipment for the stream today. We can go get started on, you know, Ouroboros Infinite Energy Device Development. Um, if I'm misunderstanding these guidelines that I've talked about here in the YouTube recording and you'd like to, you know, get me educated again because I, you know, I skim these things. I don't spend all my day reading fucking guidelines, people, because in the end of the day, I'm exercising my free will of expression on camera, whether that be 18 plus things, nudity included, or not, safe for work stuff. So, Ouroboros is going to continue being the engineering live stream that it always has been, okay? But, make no mistake, if I want to do this in my fucking underwear, in a swimsuit, in a piece of lingerie, you bet your fucking ass I'm going to do it. And if it violates Twitch's guidelines, then we will change and go within Twitch's guidelines. But right now, swimsuits, underwear, this shit, as long as we're in, you know, <laughs> pools, hot tubs, and beaches, we are in hot water after all, everyone. Ouroboros is the hottest water on this fucking planet, in my opinion. Infinite energy devices are quite a hot topic. You know, we'll do this as we want. I just wanted to say that for the record today for YouTube and the Twitch stream because I didn't really address it on YouTube at all. And I'm sure there are people w watching the YouTube recordings they're following along with the infinite energy device development on YouTube that are wondering why I'm streaming this in my underwear. Long story short is because I fucking can and I want to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the other, the other side note to that is one of my, uh, a user that came into our live chat yesterday. Thank you to them. Shout, I can't remember your username right now, but shout out to them. They basically brought up me streaming in my underwear because we, we, I ended up talking about the things I do for a living, 18 plus, thing, 18 plus shit. They told me to stream in my underwear on pools and hot tubs and we'd get a lot more viewers for infinite energy device development. So I think that was a great idea. I'm happy I took their opinion into account because I do like streaming in whichever form feels nice to me, even if that is in my underwear. So... With that said, I don't think I should ever really have to address this again. I think it's pretty cut and dry. Just be how you are, whatever that is. And no, the, na the naked human body does not constitute corrupting the innocence of people under 18 if they see it. Okay? Take the, and I've said this on YouTube countless times, last asterisk. I have to put here for the live stream and for, you know, the YouTube recording record under Ouroboros. Look, as a person that was sexually abused before the age of 18, physically, emotionally, I must say that just a human body streaming erotic art or posting pictures of themselves, just erotic art, this does not corrupt the innocence of an individual, okay? It doesn't. It's just a art it's just pictures it's bodies they're the human form i've said this on youtube so many times what does are people not respecting consent and people abusing <laughs> okay it's very cut and dry straightforward we do not promote abuse here we respect consent here <laughs> okay i am a consenting adult which means i can choose to do this whatever i want and if I'm following it within Twitch's guidelines, we're good. We don't have nudity on stream. Don't have to worry about it. Okay? But, you know, whether and who consumes my material or not, I have no control over that. 
The internet is open source information. Okay? It means it's up to the individual who watches me. I cannot control. All I can say is respect the legal law as it appears to you as to not get in trouble to, you know, law enforcement. So respect the 18 plus shit. Respect the 18 plus shit. No nudity on stream because of 18 plus laws. I understand and agree. Not that I had anybody come at me. Not that I had Twitch come at me with yesterday's stream or YouTube or anything like that. They didn't. We're fine. I never I never stepped on anyone's toes in my life yet in regards to, you know, 18 plus material and what's okay. I'm just saying for the record, because we talked about it yesterday, about to me streaming nude on here. And I wanted to update what is okay and what is not okay. Because we talked about a lot of things yesterday with what would be nice to do. But this basically sums it up. Yeah. And use safety. Again, I have to speak on this. Sexually explicit content does not ruin the innocence of a soul under the age of it, in their physical body, 18. Okay? Youth safety. The belief that a certain imagery negatively impacts a conscious soul. This is you projecting conscious manifested energy outward onto their life. You overriding the free will of another individual. This is a form of breaking universal law, which is why I'm talking about it. I know this is occulted uh, stuff. I know we're going over. I know I said I'm going to bring out the energy equipment. But look, when it comes to this shit here, okay? If you're just streaming sexual content within guidelines, not even on Twitch, but just like, you know, as is. This shit only affects people negatively uh, if they have negative conscious experience regarding it. So, for example, in my life, I had negative sexual experiences since I was a little kid. And, you know, they were surrounded with either people shunning sexuality shunning you know that's why i was in the closet being a trans girl in the closet for years or shunning you know uh the expression of sexuality saying that it corrupted my innocence as a youth even though the real thing that corrupted my innocence as a youth as, as a youth were adults preying on me physically okay the the media you know Whatever girl posted whatever picture online or in whatever magazine and whatever store, that didn't affect me, like, negatively. Now, if I had my parents, my biological parent, come along and say, those people are, you know, living out negatively, then that injects a thought into little kid in me's head that sexuality is bad. What parents, how parents view the external world gets imprinted onto their children. Now, their children can choose to disagree. I chose to disagree. I live in my authentic truth, which is sexuality is not harmful, and if you think it ruins the innocence of children, that's because you're projecting that it does onto the children. You are injecting a conscious thought stream of right and wrong in regards to sexuality onto children. That is what I see with this. The human form <laughs> is, look, I had the human body. I had naked parts to my human body ever since I was a kid. It doesn't make it wrong. It doesn't make it bad. What does make it bad are people choosing to abuse the consent of minors. Clear, cut, and dry. The reason I keep harping on this so much and the reason I keep talking about it even though we're eating up Ouroboros development time is because, again, 
I'm an ETI here. Yes, I'm here to fix the engineering solution, but part of that is also helping society with cultural shifts, cultural changes, and considering my profession and line of work, I see no other star seed addressing sex uh, very much or sex work or, um, or I don't see many light workers addressing sexuality, um, what's acceptable, what consent is acceptable, age shit. I, I need to be vocal on it because by me being vocal about the shit that nobody wants to talk about, uh, that brings awareness to it. Yes, there is sex trafficking. Yes, there, there is human trafficking. That's not okay. It needs to stop. And it's being done by illegal organizations through electromagnetic gravitic vehicles, which is another reason why I'm so passionate about the UFO shit. So all of this is related, okay? How, you got, how people on the planet treat sexuality, how people on the planet treat what is allowed to be seen by certain people or in what's not allowed to be seen, telling mass amounts of the population that, you know, if this person of a certain age range sees a piece of sexual content, it ruins their innocence, it ruins their conscience. No, this is not true. You're gaslighting them into thinking it does. But in reality, the way a soul develops is infinitely unique. And all that you should really care about is whether or not you're overriding the consent and free will of that individual. Which is why, you know, obviously, um, pedophilia and, you know, taking control of an innocent is not okay in universal law because you are not respecting the free will of that individual. If YouTube and Twitch ever decide to loosen up their guidelines in regards to the human form and nudity and, you know, just the natural form of bodies and not making it, you know, uh, against the guidelines, YouTube, Twitch chat, please let me know. I don't, you know, if they do update it again to be more lenient like it used to be, allowing nudity again, if they do, then we'll consider it. But, you know... Uh, I don't normally check for these updates. I normally hear about them secondhand from the community. So I appreciate it. Keep letting me know about things. But yeah, the standard guidelines. Ooh, wait, 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 let's check the attire policy really quick. I think we're fine. You know, we didn't. Or partially nude. Well, we've never been partially nude. We've always had something covering us. Well, this... Dude, every every girl streamer in, like, pools and hot tubs is violating this guideline. So, you know, I, I think I'm the only fucking person, probably, in pools and hot tubs that's actually looking at these. Or one of the few. Yeah, what, like, what are, look, it gets so weird. This, all this shit, I, I know we're going back to the sexuality topic again. This just needs to be its own YouTube video at this point, and it probably will be. I'll probably make this a separate YouTube video in my rant section just talking about sexuality. But look how weird you guys get. The, the more insecure humans are about the human form, the more they make all these irrational decisions about what's okay and what's not okay. You know, for people who present as women, we ask that you cover your nipples and do not expose the underbust. But above the above the tits is fine. If you do if you do above the nipples, you're fine. But if you do below, that's 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 not okay. Look, by you guys constantly having to draw these new lines in the sand, it shows how they're, these are illogical. These are illogical, just fear-mongered decisions about sexuality. I, I have to say, they're, they're fear-mongered decisions about sexuality. They are. They, they have no logical foundation for why what is allowed is allowed and why what isn't allowed isn't allowed. <laughs> Cleavage is unrestricted as long as these covering requirements are met. So I can literally do this, but anything farther is not okay. I can literally wear pasties and a bottom triangle, 
and I would be within the guidelines. Do you see how silly this is? I'm just saying. Food for thought, Twitch admins and, you know, everybody else. Food for thought. Consider the fact, why are you even saying the human body needs to be covered? If somebody doesn't want to, you know, cover it for their art, their work, whatever they're doing, why do you get to control that? Because you want it to look a certain way on your platform? Okay, but then why are you having such weird guidelines? If you don't want people nude or partially nude, shouldn't you just expect people to wear t-shirts instead? You do like I'm not asking for more conservative rules. I'm not. I'm asking for the opposite. I'm asking for more lenient rules. Because you're setting, uh, I know I'm playing devil's advocate here, but like just setting weird boundaries and shit with what's okay and what's not okay. It makes no sense. It's illogical. It's irrational. It's because it's being decided from your egoic consciousness based out of fear of sexuality in the human body, not based out of love and acceptance of the human fucking form. In whichever gender you are, whichever, you know... That that's all. Um, um, yeah. Okay. Last last <laughs> word on that. <coughs> let's let's begin Ouroboros. You know that's just gonna be its own record.